All right, Shalene France Gray is a self-taught chef who's sharing her love of vegan food. So in 2010, she created Esoteric Vegan. That's the name of her supper club, all plant-based meals. So you have the supper club. You also do classes as well. I do, occasional classes. Uh, actually, coming up, we have for the University School of Nashville, um, part of their uh, needs-based learning program. We're going to be teaching, well, the first one is in February, and I believe it's the 9th. We're going to be teaching how to make a shepherd's pie. So not unlike what we're doing here, but um, we can also elevate it right. and sort of make an easy approach. So that's what we'll be doing in February. Uh, vegan food and cooking has exploded yeah, in the totally. last, I'd say, two to three years. But it's been around for a long time, though, right? Mm -hmm. Hasn't it? Yeah. But the, why, why has it become so popular? Uh, I think just because you look like me, <laughs> you want to go vegan? Uh, is it right? <laughs> I think a lot of folks, it is health reasons, yes. you know, because a lot of things can be cured by diet. So. A uh, plant-based diet is just, you know, you can still have hearty. One of my favorite things to do is take some of my childhood dishes and convert them. And into, figure it out. You said that you're self-taught. Because I think yeah. sometimes when you think you're going to go a healthier route, you just think salads. You do not think a chicken pot pie. So how do we get this going? How do we make this happen? Uh, so the first step is, so there's, there's basically like three steps in this process. So we have the cashew gravy and the vegetable mixture and then also the biscuit crust. Okay, let's Which, not gloss over it. While he rolls it out, <laughs> cashew gravy, like what yeah. does that even mean? What's in um, there? So Obviously cashews, but... The main thing to remember is to soak the cashews, and you would do that the night before or for at least four hours. I also have a little trick that if you forget or if you decide, oh, I want to make this for dinner tonight, I'd use boiling water and pour those over the cashews mm -hmm. and let them sit for like 15 to 20 to 30 minutes. And it kind of does the same trick. So it's okay. it's pretty great. And we're going to have the recipe on how to make this sauce on our website. Exactly. So that ultimately goes into a Vitamix and you can set that aside, work okay. on your vegetable mixture. So. Uh, I cook the potatoes separately, and you want them to be able to kind of slice through but not be mushy. Perfect. Um, and then we've got carrot and chickpea, mushroom and onion. You saute that first. When that's done, you ultimately add in frozen peas. You could use frozen corn, or I'm sorry, frozen corn or carrots yeah, as well. Sure. Just add that Whatever all in. You want. I love um, it. Yeah, can so I, can it's. I, can I stop? Can you stop? Yes, well, okay. absolutely. He's, he's, he's forearms are being absolutely. tired from this so, <laughs> motion. <laughs> it's hard work over there. It is. The pen. So once you're done, you can add in the cashew gravy. And a little tip, cashews tend to get pretty thick. So if it does seem too thick to you and not... Uh, see how it's kind of nice and thin there. Yeah, that's if perfect. That's beautiful. If it's too thick, you can use a little extra vegetable broth and... I don't know. Okay. It. So your pastry dough. Yep. So from there, ultimately... There's no egg in there. There's no egg. No, this is just flour, baking powder, um, salt, coconut oil, and water. I'm not sure it's supposed... Mine looks like a comma, so I'm not sure that's how it's supposed to come <laughs> out, but that's all right there. You know, that's the beauty of it. It can be rustic, <laughs> right. yes. or it can be that fancy. Is a nice rustic. Pie. That's my new you nickname. Know, rustic. Whatever. Okay. So we've only got a couple minutes left, so okay. you make your dough. Yep, how you want long to stick this in? to make that dough? That took less than five minutes. Yeah. Less okay. than five, Carol. Okay, so yep. 25 for me. No. <laughs> no, it's super easy. Oh, because you're not putting any dough at the bottom. No Perfect. dough at the bottom. Pay attention, yeah. Carol. Beautiful. You can if you want to, but. If you want extra crust. Exactly, so you get it all in there. Joe, you want to. Sure. You want to try to give it a whirl? Bring the dough over? Here, let me get, yeah, this, close. Let me get this closer <laughs> to you. Right. You just put it on top? You can do it. Yes. That, is, that's all, is that easy? Okay. We'll move this out of here. All right. This is not going as I envisioned, but that's pretty much the pattern for most of my life. You can also take the rolling pin and sort of fold it over that okay. and kind of... Will you help me out there? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Check this out. I'm going to keep watching you, Joe. Oh! So you kind of go there. Oh, look at you! It's a little trick. All right. So the reason she's in charge. I would have been we here till it. tomorrow's show doing that. That's okay. So then, you know, you can take the extra and just sort of can cut it off. Can I ask a off. simple question? Yes, you may. Can I eat that? Um, you can. Okay. I don't think it'll be too good. Good. Okay. Raw dough. Um, <laughs> raw dough. I mean, whether it has egg or not, I don't okay. think it's going to be so good. Uh, and that comes out looking like that. That comes out looking like that. So, so you beautiful. can crimp the edges. The main thing is just to remember to slice some holes in the right. top so that the steam goes off. All right. Should we um, cut in? Do it, Carol. Absolutely. Do so it, it's Carol. beautiful, guys. Yes, so Terry, again, anyway. if you're interested <laughs> in their supper clubs or in their classes, you can go to our website. 
esoteric vegan. Again, you made this look so this. easy and oh, so good. Oh, it is so easy. So thank you. I'll just give yeah. it a lift up. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Thank you. Now, there are fun. lots of fun events coming up with Esoteric Vegan. Chef Shalene will hold a class on comfort food for vegans on February the 9th. That's from 6 to 9. And there's a brunch. Brunch for vegans. Yay! March 2nd, noon to 3. <laughs> Thanks for the yay. I feel like that added Why a little. Why are over here now? And because you don't have a fork or a spoon. Where's your fingers? Or a plate or you're any of those we're things. We're in the south. Right yes. Esotericvegan.com. Here you go, Joe. Thank you. Let me fill this up for okay. you. Thank you. That Let me was just perfect. make this Thank happen. You. You're so welcome. Here you right, go, stay Joe. Stay with us on today in Nashville. <laughs> Feeding the bear.